delivered okay? Yes, Mom. Mrs. Hamhawker gave us a tip. Oh, that was nice. Is he still there? Yeah. I guess I shouldn't have given him anything to eat, but he looks so hungry. Yeah, I bet whoever owned him just dumped him there. Do you think Grandpa will let us keep him? Maybe, but I don't know about Mom. But we've never really had a pet before. We're missing out on a valuable childhood experience. You don't have to tell me. It's Mom we've got to convince. Come on. Mom, could we talk to you and Grandpa a minute? Sure, what is it? Well, we were wondering if it was okay with you guys. If... If? If we could have a... Ah. Uh. A pet. Yeah, a pet. It followed us home, and I was real hungry, and I don't think it had any place to go. And, oh, Mom, I know it wouldn't be any trouble. It's really cute, and we take really good care of it, and we even thought of a name. Oh, please, Mom, can we keep it here, please? Please, Mom, you'd be giving us a very, very valuable childhood experience. Yeah. Well, what do you think, Kelly? Might be kind of nice to have a pet around the store. Well, what about Caldecott? I mean one that you don't have to dry clean. Hmm, and one that doesn't talk back all the time. Well, if it's okay with your grandfather, it's okay with me. Really? But it will be your responsibility, and I mean that. And we should try to find its owner if it has one. Absolutely. Sure, Mom, no problem. We'll take good care of it, Mom, honest. Sorry. Sure hope we're doing the right thing. Oh, I'm sure we are, Ellie. Come on, Spark. Mom, Grandpa, meet Sparky. <laughs> and then again, maybe not. There's a place we all can go. It's always been there, I know. They have things there. Not believe. So come on down to Putnam's. You'll see what I mean. New adventures all the time. And Mr. Putnam thinks it's fine. You can be yourself there. It's all right to be you. You will find a friend. And a smile or two At Putnam's you'll always feel at home At Putnam's you'll never feel alone Magic's in the air Friends are everywhere At Putnam's Prairie He's about six feet tall, and I'd say about, um, 500 pounds. Pardon? Oh, no, no, no. It's not a dog. It's a gorilla. <laughs> yes, that's what I said, a gorilla. Um, you see, it followed my children home from school one day, and then we thought... Pardon? Who? Is this Accounting? No, this is not Alan Accounting. Look, I don't know any Al in accounting, and I've got better things to do with my time than play practical jokes on you. Uh, look, I just want the ad to read, lost, I mean found, one gorilla, black in color, no identification. For further information, call Putnam's Prairie Emporium. Did you get that? Uh, excuse me. Uh, would you please stop laughing for a moment? Did you get that? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm glad I made your day, too. Goodbye. Well, the ad will appear in tonight's paper, and I contacted the uh, Pets Lost and Found show on CKID TV. I hope it works. I mean, you'd think somebody would notice that their gorilla was missing. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Well, I'm sure if the owner sees the ad, he'll call. I hope so. There's one too many monkeys around here to suit me. And how did he get the whole episode named after him? Who is this, Sparky? The producer's brother? Well, no. Actually, he's the producer's nephew. 
So be nice, Caldecott. <laughs> After all, Sparky had no place else to go. Oh, but Pop, a stray cat or dog is one thing, but a 500-pound gorilla? Well, a pet is a pet, Ellie, and the kids promised they'd look after him. Hmm, well, a new pet can be a novelty for a while until there's work involved. Well, I think we should give the kids a chance, Ellie. I mean, we should be thankful that Sparky is house-trained. I'll say, he's so house-trained, you can never get into the bathroom around here. Hmm, I know. I wish we could train him to take in shorter magazines. <laughs> You guys should see the tricks Sparky can do. Tricks? Yeah, watch, Grandpa. Sparky sits. Good boy. Now watch this. Sparky, heel. Say, that's pretty good. There's more. Sparky, play dead. He's a bit of a ham, isn't he? Good boy, Sparky. That's very good, Sparky. Uh, does he do any other tricks? Sure, watch. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, this one. That's not the one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. he has to work on that one. Mm -hmm. That's okay, Spark. You're a good boy. Mm -hmm. Isn't he just the neatest thing? I suppose everybody thinks their pet is extra special, or at least they should. I won't argue with that, boss. Yeah, but Sparky's not like any other pet. Come on, Katie. Let's teach Sparky to skateboard. No way. Sparky and I are going upstairs to listen to old records. He likes all those old songs by the monkeys. Aw, oh, you don't want to listen to old records, do you, Sparky? Wouldn't you rather go skateboarding? Look, he's nodding his head. Katie! I don't think Sparky will have to worry about a lack of attention. Hmm, maybe not. What's the attraction, anyway? His breath smells like a banana after the skin's turned black. And he can't even do a decent card trick. Uh, call the cot. I'd like to see you in my office right now. Uh-oh. Who's that? The producer. Oh, <laughs> Be right up, KB. Yes, sir. Did I mention how delighted I was that your nephew's on the show? If I'm not down in 20 minutes, call the Hand Puppet Humane Society. That here. Take this. It might break the ice. Oh, 